did you think this year? Oh, it was great. I know we were there last year and saw it, and a lot of props. I mean, a lot of items in a you know in the area, in the yard, everywhere. I mean, it's just completely loaded with lots of things to see. And then to add to it, there's a, a if you tune in the radio, if you put on the station, the radio, it has a light show with um, that plays music, and then there's lights that go that are synchronized with the music, which is another a really great touch to to the whole yard display. So overall, I, I give it a five. I give it a five because I, you know, there's a lot of stuff there to see, and then the in the light show and the music just add to it. So five chainsaws for me. All right, your first visit to the Haunted Cemetery, Ashbury, and Naperville. What'd you think? I thought it was a little bit congested. Um, I mean, it was good, but I think it might be a tad overrated. You know, it really isn't that interesting compared to some of the other ones. But I give it a four, and I'd probably give it maybe a four and a half or five if the light split was going. Okay. With the music. So if this by itself, it's only a four. All right. In my opinion. Yeah, you know, I have to say there are literally hundreds of things to see there. And no exaggeration. This is by far the haunt with the most props on the front lawn, side lawn. There are hundreds, in the hundreds easily. I would say probably more than a thousand if, if I had to count everything. But in some ways you could say that it's too much, too much to see. I think if you take the kids there, they'll really like it. They'll be wowed by all the stuff to see. And plan to spend some time there. It's on a cul-de-sac, so you don't have to worry about a lot of traffic or anything. You can look around. A lot of things. Not many moving things, but lots of things to see. Little things in different places. Signs, props, all sorts of figures. You'll, you'll like it. There's a, it's a cemetery theme, obviously, given the name. But the thing that really gets it, that really sells it, is the, the songs that they have. The light show, and they have these pumpkins. These pumpkins made out of lights that are on the garage and on the house. And they sing along with this, the music. And there are about 15 or 20 songs or so that they do every night. I think it's till 9 or 9.30 during the week and 11 o'clock on weekends. So you owe it yourself to go see that. I'm going to say it's a 4 for the display itself without the light show. If you see it without the light show, but uh, an extra chainsaw for the light show, so to make it a five uh, if you have to see the light show.